Hello there, this is Will from Stacks for Stacks and in this quick video today I'm going to give you an introduction to the new locator stack which I'm releasing. The website address for locator is stacksforstacks.com forward slash locator and on this page you can see a brief overview of what the stack can do, download a free demo version and I've also published setup instructions for the stack here. The locator stack as the name suggests can be used to create something like a simple website store locator to go on your own website. Um, this is typically where you have a map, in this case we're using Google Maps and you can display map points where perhaps you've got shops or outlets where you sell products or services and such like and people can very easily come to the website, they can point where their, their current location is, they can either um, enter their current location in the search box here or if your website's got an SSL security certificate then you can actually use auto detection to find out where someone is and once they've pointed to where they are on the map, they can actually see where the nearest branch or outlet is uh, which they might want to visit. The map points you can click on on the, on the map like this and it will display basic business information, name of a business, location, opening times, website address, phone numbers, anything like that. Alternatively, they can actually go through the, uh, the list here and click on a location and the map will recenter itself and display similar information again. And if you've got a lot of map points, then the option is provided to paginate through the uh, different locations. Uh, so it's a relatively simple setup, but there is quite a lot of underlying technology making this all work to actually generate the, the maps and to uh, show where the nearest locations are. Uh, it's quite a sophisticated stack in that respect. Additionally, what you can do is a person can come onto your website, they can view the map like this, and if, for example, there's a place they want to go to, they can click or tap on the directions link here, and what this will do is it'll open a new page on the Google Maps website, and what it's doing now is displaying live, real-time information for how long it's going to take somebody to get from their current location to the preferred shop or store or other outlet or something like that. Um, and this will work on both desktop and it will also work on mobile devices and tablets which have got Google Maps installed. Um, alternatively it will just open the, up the Google Maps website as it is in this example uh, to display the same information. So yeah, it's quite a sophisticated little stack this. Um, there's a lot of different customizable options which I'll run through in a minute. Um, for example you can customize the style of the uh, search bar up here. You can move the, the list of locations to underneath the map into nice columns or something like that so you can uh, set up the map so that it will actually fit nicely within your website. Uh, let's go into Rapid Weaver now and I'll just show you how to get a very basic locator working. Um, obviously once you've installed the stack, open your stacks library, search for locator and drag and drop a copy of this stack into your web page. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do if you're setting this up for real is to go to the Google Maps website and to generate a new API key and this gets entered over here on the uh, right hand side in the stack settings. Um, you'll need a, an API key for your own website. It's just a way of regulating your usage of the, the Google Maps API. Uh, you can monitor you know, roughly how many people are using your, your map and, and stuff like that. Um, so you'll need to generate one of those and instructions for that can be found on the website. We've got a couple of different data um, file types available. Um, we've got some sample data loaded but equally you can use um, Google Earth or Google Maps, KML file, um, JSON or XML. And we've got a couple of options here to just style the, the form and different map options and we can also um, customize the list of locations and also change any of the localizations if we're building a website for example non-English um, translations things like that if we wanted to have a website in a different language. If I just go ahead now and preview the page as it is just using the sample data um, you can see we've got ourselves a very simple um, Google map with the search box and with the list of locations on the right hand side here and again I can just click on a location and up pops the information about that particular location. There's a lot of options to customise the presentation of a map. Um, by default it is a road map but I could go in and I could change this to um, a satellite view or indeed I could go for a terrain view 
um, or hybrid, which is a combination of a couple of different map types altogether. And we have got the option as well for street view. Um, so I can, on the map, drag and drop this little man onto um, a road close to one of my locations. And you can see I've got um, ability to pan around and I can actually see on the street where this particular um, outlet or location would be. You know, this particular uh, shop or restaurant in this example would be. Uh, so that's quite a nice little uh, feature for people and as I demonstrated earlier you've got the directions so you've got step-by-step um, -step directions for people from their current location how to get to this particular location and to come out of Street View just click on the back button here again um, what else have we got so we've got different map types we can toggle between obviously miles and kilometers depending what part of the world you're in the height of the map can be changed here. We can limit the number of locations. We can also set the default zoom limit when the, the map starts on the page. Um, disabling of points of interest, that's quite useful if you want to omit, for example, competitors from your website. Um, you know, for example, if you've got a website which is for a restaurant, you might want to hide all the other restaurants in the nearby location and just display your restaurant only so that's quite a useful option for that um, we can make the map draggable we can also toggle the display of a full screen button um, we can change the map type button so people can actually change that themselves on the um, on the map and the actual list itself again we can by default it's beside the map on this right hand side if we wanted to we could display all the locations below the map like this which would be quite useful if you wanted to put the map within a sidebar or theme extra content container um, we can also put the list of locations within columns underneath the map like this which is quite a nice uh, setup if you've got a bit more space to play around with and the breakpoint setting here just means that on smaller screens it will revert back to one column so to demonstrate that if I make the page narrower you can see that uh, sort of on tablet and mobile screen sizes we go back down to just a single column like that. Um, number of items or locations can be controlled and as I've mentioned already you've got full control over all the localizations. Um, if there's an error or people can't find the nearest location or something like that all this information is fully uh, translatable can be customized here in the settings. So you might be wondering at this point, okay, that's, that looks really nice. How do I set up my own locations and map points on the map itself? And there's a couple of different ways of doing this. Um, the easiest option to start with would be just to use Google Earth. Google Earth is a free download for Mac and PC, and it makes it very easy to set up your places of interest or store locations on a map overview. Um, in this case, I'm just sort of zoomed into Toronto in Canada. Um, what I can do is I can just, in a normal way, zoom into particular places on the map. Um, let's say this is a, a location of a, a store or something, or a business. Over here in the sidebar, under My Places, you want to just right click and click Add Folder. And we'll call this new folder My Places. And then you can begin the process of actually adding points to this map layer. And that's as easy as just um, you know, zooming in roughly on the area you want to, uh, to point at. Select add and add a place mark from the menu up here. Just call this place of interest. So we give the place a name and then within the description box we can add other information like the address, telephone number, fax number, email address, um, website address, anything like that. And we've also got the options where well to add an image as well if we wanted to or add links to websites and such like. Um, basic HTML is supported within the description. Um, that could be useful for example you've got quite a long address which you want to introduce some line breaks so you could use some simple html paragraph breaks or line breaks or something like that and once you've added the um, place mark you can just click on ok like so you can still drag the, um, the map around to add new uh, 
place marks um, but they're now saved over here in the sidebar um, to export all these place marks as points which you can then plot on your locator stack you just want to select the, the parent folder so in this case it's my places um, come up here to the file menu select save and save place as and then under the menu here um, you just want to select KML as the file format and save that to your desktop or a documents folder or somewhere else um, you can then attach this as a, a resource in Rapid Weaver or you can upload it to your web server and link to the file from there and what's quite nice about Google Earth is it's very visual um, you can easily come in here add the points yourself or indeed you can get a client to add the points themselves and just export the file and add it to the stack accordingly the other option you've got is XML um, sounds complicated but it's very simple actually um, this is what a basic XML file would look like um, for your different locations so we've got the XML declaration here um, it's markers opening and markers closing tags and each location is just formed of one of these markers and you can see patterns emerging in the code so we've got the name of the business um, the latitude or longitude which you can get quite easily from Google Earth um, if you move your mouse around you can see at the bottom right hand side of the screen it's actually displaying my latitude and longitude coordinates so that's quite easy to uh, to reuse um, so yeah the latitude and longitude you've then got the address information and you can put in other information like phones, emails, website addresses, business hours, anything like that. And then switching back into Rapid Weaver, if we want to add our own um, information, our own map points, we can do so via the resources quite easily. In this case I've added my XML files as a resource. I'm just going to click on to test again here on the test page. Data file type here we've got um, XML and I can just pull that up from the menu and then set the link to the resource accordingly like this and you can see that's quickly done go back and preview my page now and we can see our new um, map data loading accordingly so it's a relatively simple stack to set up it's a little bit different to other stacks you may have previously used but there's a lot of options here to customize um, the display of the map and how the locations are listed um, so I encourage you to download the free demo version and have a play around with it because there's quite a lot of different options available. Um, this could be a very, very useful stack to use in your project. I'm not aware of any other store locator stacks or similar available for Rapid Weaver. Um, you can just use this as a simple Google Maps stack as well. Um, all you need to do is in the stack settings here turn off the location search form which hides the box at the top here and we can also turn off um, the list of locations as well uh, like so and we can turn off pagination as well at the bottom so this just gives us a very plain and ordinary um, Google map uh, to go within a website so it's quite a bit that this uh, stack can do and I hope it is of use to you of course if you have got any um, any questions about the stack then feel free to contact me um, via email or through the Stacks for Stacks website and I look forward to hearing from you again soon